Thanks, Dan. And now, more on those rolling blackouts that have affected the... Mr. Morales! Mr. Morales! Oh, my gosh. That's all. Thank you very much. Tonight's Red Hot Red Carpet is right here at the Disney Concert Hall, where Tony Stark's third annual benefit for the Firefighters Family Fund has become the place to be. Jarvis, you get an invite for that? I have no record of an invitation, sir. The event hasn't been seen in public since his bizarre and highly controversial press conference. Some claim he's suffering from post-traumatic stress and has been bedridden for weeks. Whatever the case may be, no one expects an appearance from him tonight. The render is complete. In a twisted turn of events, the mugger was shot by an unknown assailant and delivered right here, where he was patched up and promptly arrested. Police would not comment when asked if this was the work of a vigilante. And finally tonight, the death of a local hero. Sammy Boy was the victim of a hit-and-run accident. Viewers might remember Sammy Boy from a story we did a couple of months ago when Sammy Boy rescued several children from a fire at the Ventnor Orphanage. That's Turn all for tonight. I'm Zoriana Kidd. By now, the entire country has heard about female quarterback phenomenon Jasmine Plummer. She's carried the Browns to the playoffs, and they need one more win to reach Pop Warner's Mid-American Super Bowl for the first time in 20 years. A part of that delay may have to do with the harsh times that have hit Minden. That is why Jasmine Plummer's rise is so crucial to the town's struggling citizens. 